I'm Kate Byer Walter. I'm a professor of psychology here at Grand Rapids Community College. My name is Joe Hesse, and I teach in the physical science department at Grand Rapids Community College. My name is Juliet Keller, and I teach English as a second language at Grand Rapids Community College. I'm Steve Beauclair. I teach uh, English 101 and 102 composition here at Grand Rapids Community College. I'm uh, David Lang. I am an adjunct professor, and I teach marketing at Grand Rapids Community College. My name is Hilary Haney, and I teach French at Grand Rapids Community College. I teach both in the lecture format and the online format here at the college. And in my lecture format, I've always used video clips, particularly in psychology courses. It's very helpful to make the material come alive. So I was very excited to hear about the NBC content program because um, it's very easy to use within the context of Blackboard. You can just go to their um, website. You can browse the videos by your content area. For example, for me, it was psychology. I could put in um, prenatal development, for example, and up would come videos that I could then just click on, hit embed, and boom, they were in my Blackboard course. If you want scientific laws and theories and equations and formulas to mean something to students, there has to be some real world context. There has to be some relevancy to the lives that my students lead. And this is where the NBC videos come into play. Normally at the beginning of class, there is time when I'm taking a role or the students are doing some pre-class activities. I run them then. There are often transition periods between lecture and lab at which there's some dead time, and I run the videos then. We have different levels of ability, and I can play a short clip, and the class can discuss you know, what they heard. But also a feature of the videos is that they do have transcripts written out on many of the broadcasts. And so the students can go back at home, access the same video that we watched in class, read along with the um, speaker, so that they can pick up on words that they missed because they're just learning English as a second language. It's very easy for me to find a topic uh, with the news archive. I can go through and do a search uh, and I bring up a topic. Uh, most recently it was about uh, speculating on the causes of a trend, having students write a paper on that. We see it in maybe uh, two or four minutes and then right away uh, it's like a spark uh, that really gets the conversation going. I find that you know there's certain marketing concepts that you know I can find a video that really demonstrates that that concept. There was one I used recently, uh, Camel, and they introduced a new cigarette called uh, Camel 9, which is targeted towards females. And when I played it in class, it really did get you know a great deal of discussion going about it because there was the also, also that ethical side to it. I use the NBC, I think it's called the course feed for, um, for French. I wish it was in French, but I found a few videos on Haiti. We were able to then watch um, some of the video in class and then I was able to assign uh, outside because it's in Blackboard, I was able to assign um, the students to watch some of the, the videos that I found on Haiti and then we were able to talk about it. It was included in our discussions. It was included then in testing and, and all that. I've used, it's a clip where Matt Lauer is, um, is uh, interviewing someone about resume tools. One of the writing tools that we create is a resume. And this is all about reinventing yourself without, without looking too old. And it worked really well for them to hear what uh, professionals had to say about putting their age in a resume. It's just like being a parent, and I can tell my kids over and over how to do something, but when somebody else steps in and tells them how to do it, it's like, oh. Well, they like it. They like the video content. It, it makes the class a little more interesting. I like the way it's organized. I like being able to keep my own file of videos that I like. Uh, it, goes, it, works, it goes nicely into Blackboard. It's easy to put a clip on Blackboard. Most of them are pretty current. Um, current events in the news, you know, new discoveries about a fossil that's been found, or um, Matt Lauer going with a germ hunter, you know, swabbing the subway in New York and cabs and things like that and finding what grows there. The real benefit is that the editing has gone 
uh, through a very professional process, NBC News. Um, and I think a part of that too is to make sure that uh, students are making some connections with the broader world. And I'm not quite sure that everyone in class is watching the news. Um, and that I think is part of our job as a teacher to facilitate that, to make those connections. Uh, that this is relevant and this is happening right now. Uh, and that's one way to do that, bring in the archives, put it on Blackboard and use it in class.